I am with Carol Baxter, who with Formal Line won the amateur 15 to and under. And then Josh came back and won the 15 to and over, over the under. How's that feel? It's wonderful. It's just a dream come true. He's well, a great horse. It is. Now, he is a great horse. There's no doubt about it. I know that uh, you've been showing for a few years, though. How, how long have you been showing? Oh, gosh. Uh, since I was in uh, high school, college, I started showing my dad horses. He used to show um, Colts. And he, uh, he, I have a picture of him back a long time ago when he went to a uh, horse show in Dallas. He showed a little Colts. We, we grew up with horses. But now, your husband doesn't show, though, does he? Or does no, he? No. I didn't think so. I know he was down there cheering for you. Yeah, that's uh, right. That's, he's my cheerleader. Well, that's the way it normally works. Uh -huh. the, the husbands and the grandfathers have good horses, but their wives and their grandchildren normally end up with them. That's right. I've, I've tried to get mine to interest in horses. They're interested in everything but horses. Yeah. And, uh, which, that's all right. I, I still love them. Well, are you going to show him more this year, or is this the last time you're going to show? I think this is the last time show for this year, yeah. Well, it's a shame, because it's the last one that's going to be in this arena. I but know, you can You can always brag in years to come that you was there on the final night. Uh -huh. Your horse showed both nights. Right. It won both nights. Right. And uh, that has to be a thrill. Oh, it is. It, it does. It, I mean, I've never had that happen before. That's wonderful. Well, now you've got some other good horses because I've seen them, and uh, it's a uh, it, it's a blessing because these, these horses are to me they're something special. They really are. They're very unique and and special, and they're just wonderful all around horses for trail riding or showing or whatever you want to do. Well, just about anything you want to do with right. one. That's one thing we talked about. We've even talked about up in in Shelbyville at one time five or six years ago. We had several races. We went to the old Milky Way. Okay. We raced there. We raced over in Fedville on the track over there. Uh -huh. And we, we had a great time. We just kind of let it die down. But now there is a racetrack in Shelby. So we have talked about getting back in there and letting walking horses walk against walking horses. Look how I mean, neat. Well, you could have a running walk. Mm -hmm. You can have a, a canter. I mean, there's so many, or you can have an all out and run. As long as they're running against each other, mm -hmm. they would be excited, I think. Yeah. I know our others were, so I'm assuming these will be too. Well, I know you show performance. Have you ever shown flat shot? Uh, yes, I have. I kind of had a feeling you had. But Back in the day, that's mm -hmm. all I had was flat shot. You know, had them at our barn and home train. Right. That's what we do. Well, you like trail riding. Oh, I love trail riding. You know, mo most people, a lot of people, I won't say most people, but a large number of people, even trainers, will ride the performance during the week. On the weekend, they're out in the country on a trail riding like, horse. Yeah. Trail riding horse having a good time. And a lot of these trainers now, they're working to train horses to do different things, you know, like the things that you would run into out in the woods, and that, that's important too. Well, what, where, where about you live? I know it's in Louisiana, right? Alexandria, Louisiana, right in the center of the state. Is that right? Mm -hmm. you, do you know Virginia Stewart? Oh, yes. No, uh -huh. ain't she a peach? She is, wonderful. <laughs> she is one of my very dear friends, her and Jean. They, uh, we eat, eat a lot of times, eat lunch together, mm -hmm. but now they are they are some special people. She's from Louisiana. Yeah, so. I've known her since the Dixie Jubilee days. Oh, we yeah. Had the horse show in Baton Rouge. Well, I figured now, you're down in in Louisiana. I would thought that y'all not going to Tunica. The Tunica horse show? No, we're not going this year. But we I, have gone. If, if I'm thinking it's going to be a good one. I, I really do. I believe, I believe it'll be real good. Well, I'm just glad that you took time out to come up and talk to us. Uh, and you're not, are you going to show any more at this show? Yeah, I have one more class. You got one more specialty. to go, huh? Yeah, what, what class is that? Amateur specialty. Amateur specialty. Yes, sir. Well, I tell you what, we're going to be up here cheering for you. How's that? Well, thank you. I would appreciate that. All right. Well, I want to thank you for coming by and sitting and talking to us. And one other question I want, does your trainer ever give you any tips? 
Every now and then. Every now. Do you listen? Do, do you listen? Do you listen to him? Absolutely. I always try to listen to him. I've had some of them say no. I turn that phone off, or I take it out of my ear and give it back to him. But I, I know that it's it's something else. Well, I've never done that. You, you never know. So, so even though you may not listen to him, you don't let him know you're not listening. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Just keep on riding. Absolutely. Well, Carol, I appreciate you taking time to come up and, and uh, visit with us. Uh -huh. You can say bye to everybody. Bye. And, and I do appreciate you coming up. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.